Let's start. You're. You're. Uh, this. <laughs> this is the first episode of our podcast, the HBCU podcast. Sure. My name is Hashim and my co-host. What's going on, y'all? Good rising, Bobby K. Y'all see the hoodie? Shout out to Colorway, Daniel. I see you, bro. Mm-hmm. We're doing shout outs already. Black on business. It. Heard it, heard it, heard it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they got Instagram page too. If you want to go follow them, definitely. Um, so we're gonna get right into it. Uh, today's episode will be about. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We gotta let the people know who we are first. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. Let uh, them know who we is. Uh, like I said, my name's Hashim. Uh, I play football, soccer, aka soccer, whatever you want to call it. I got mad medals that you can see over here from track and field. I'm an athlete. Um, I low key like to argue. Low key, low key. I'm a chill dude. Uh, yeah, that's that's all you getting for right now. You forgot my personality as the episodes go on. Exactly. That's on to you, Bobby. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, my name is Bobby K. I uh, graduated from SUNY Westbury. Uh, do poetry. Uh, you know, I'll probably link that um, in future episodes. I play basketball. I did track in high school with Hashim. So I've known Hashim for a long time. You know what I mean? We've been homies for a long time. So I'm excited for us to be doing this new venture. So let's get into it. All right. Now can I give the topic? Go ahead. Yes, sir. All right. Topic is group chats and FaceTime appointments. Yes. Um, I'll, I'll start off. Uh, mm -hmm. Group chats. I love group chats personally because mm -hmm. I'm not the type of person that would hit somebody up individually unless I have a reason. I told you this before. Right. I hit people up with a purpose. And mm -hmm. after that purpose is done, that's that's in the conversation. I just don't like wasting other people's time because I don't like mm -hmm. when people hit me up and be like, hey, how's your day going? Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. And then ask me what. They really want to ask me in the beginning. Hashim like, is not yeah, into small me. talk. He's he's just into I listen. If I text you or call you, it's for a reason. It's to hoop. It's to do. It's to go out somewhere. It's for business purposes. He's not the type to just text you, be like, "Hey, are you you know how you feeling?" Type shit. Nah, so that's what group chats are for, in my opinion. That's why I love group chats. I mean, you can individualize it, you know what I'm saying? Because everyone isn't always active in the group chat. You know, what I mean, we know that firsthand, especially when you have ten. 12 people in a damn group chat everybody's um, not going to be on their phones so yeah but it say you have like those 10 people in that group chat right mm -hmm. and i don't feel like answering i'm still reading or i'm i might work and i don't feel like answering that you still see, have that conversation with those other people and then see, I this is in. the problem see this is my problem uh, this I'm, I'm i'm gonna just be honest i have i, I like group chats too to a certain degree, because it does keep every, like if you have multiple people like in a crew or in a group that you're cool with, y'all all could just make plans and stuff in a group chat instead of, you know, contacting individually. But at the same time, this is my problem with group chats. Like what you just said, people be reading stuff and it could be like specific information that's like not necessarily important, but just, you know, trying to have conversation and they don't say anything. And it's like, for an example, perfect example. Mm. I'm in a big group chat, right? From people, like a few people I went to college with, or whatever, and a few like mutual friends type shit, right? Yeah, air them out, and air them out, bro. Yeah, nah, I knew them, <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna use an example though. Yeah. It's like 12 of us, 12, 13 people in the group chat, right? It's only maybe four or so people that consistently hit up the group chat. And a person that I'm cool with, a girl, homegirl she put in a group chat about like a halloween thing or whatever she wanted to do for next week and it was like no engagement with it whatsoever like people probably read it and saw it was like oh shit an invitation to something cool but then didn't say anything you know what i'm saying so it was like but, compared to if it was individually it yeah, might have been a different story i would take that as uh, I sent the invite, and especially if nobody answer after that, then like nobody posts like, "I right, 
uh, here's a video, watch this, right? Mm -hmm. And just completely off topic. I take that as like, I right, nobody, nobody's down to go with me to this place or they already got plans. And they can't say, oh, you didn't invite me, blah, blah, blah. I was like, it's, it's in the group chat. Nobody answered for a good two hours. I think what it is too, is not only that, I think it's also the fact of like, like text messages get lost in group chats compared to like if you like hit someone up individually like because you're just going to see that one name and be like oh okay they text me or they try to call me or something facetime must be something important compared to if it's in a group chat sometimes people assume that it ain't really shit that's that important or that i gotta check it or whatever even though it might be something that they should look at so yeah. that's really I mean my issue with group chats kind of gets into play. You know what I'm saying? That, that used to be a problem with WhatsApp too. If anyone used that, shout out to WhatsApp. But Yeah, but WhatsApp, they got the app feature. So I know there's a lot of times in my WhatsApp chats that I, I'm not looking at it. But if you at me, see? I 100% go look for where I'm at it and see. Uh, all right, You're see part of the go. problem. No. You're part of the problem. No. I no, it depends. If I see mm -hmm. if I'm in a group chat, right, a, a texting group chat, and this happens all the time, mm -hmm. and either I'm at work and I can't look at my phone for a long period of time, or I'm I'm just doing something, mm -hmm. and I see like hundred plus messages, I'm like, <laughs> it's it's looking You're slow. Not about to scroll through it's, all it's, that shit. <laughs> especially if it's a topic that I'm not interested in. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's it's slow, and I'm and there's they could be like there's times where in my group chat they're talking about the office, and I don't watch the office. I don't like me office. neither. And good man, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then they're talking about that, and then they will they will say something else which would be like important information, mm -hmm. and then go back to talking about the office. Then like right. yo, Hashim, like you, didn't, you didn't see that in between filler, filler, filler. Yeah, important shit, filler, filler, filler. It's yeah. like bro, like. But then, and then they'd be like, "Yo, you didn't see that." I'm like, "You already know if you're talking about the office, and I'm I'm not answering. I just skip through all that. And if you talk about something important within that, mm -hmm. and that's that's getting skipped too. So is it like a so, okay? So you just made a point. So you said basically like sometimes there's certain shit that's said in the group chat that you're not really interested in like talking about, or it's not really anything that. You, you know much about to talk about so is mm. there like specific things that you look at w and when a group chat message comes up that decides whether you want to engage with the conversation or not or is uh, it just like most of the time just like i'm not really answering the shit especially if it's like a bunch of messages no i i answer i'm i'm active in my group chats mm -hmm. the, yeah the group chats that i'm not forced to be in i'm active in the group chats <laughs> There's group chats that who, they didn't let me leave. Who's kidnapping you and putting you in Bro, group chat? They, they're, they're used to be group <laughs> chats that uh, they would add me and I would try to leave and they'll add me again and I'll that's, try to leave. And that's then so that's annoying. why I just don't answer. But and there's numbers um, you don't even have saved. It's like, what? Who are no, you? No, it's people that it's people that I had saved. I just didn't like that group chat. I don't got them saved. Um, so you you a different type of beast, bro. <laughs> no, you, you built you built different. It built different. Um, <laughs> I completely forgot what I was gonna say. What'd you say before? Nah, uh, is there like specific things you look at to reply to if if it's a group chat message compared to like if it's a regular message? Nah, it's it's just like once I see the trend of the messages, like I still skim through the messages and see if you're still talking about whatever topic it is and it's fine that you have those mm -hmm. um those rants with like whoever person that you're talking to mm -hmm. and after i see something that like i'm interested in i just hop in or i just throw something random in there and start a new conversation or you guys could have like two conversations at the same time i get the feeling like someone like you you mainly respond to group chats if it's like memes being exchanged but not really ah, in yeah. terms of like if it's like <laughs> yeah but not if it's like invitations or, or not even no, invitation no. but if it's like you know certain things like a basketball conversation or something i feel like sometimes you might not even answer it no i answer it it depends <laughs> there's there's stuff like especially in the basketball um group chat uh mm -hmm. I don't know the fantasy one. I definitely mm -hmm. answer those um, memes. Everybody that knows me know I got my collection. 
memes videos. You, you are a meme are a name, fiend. Name. If y'all know and anyone that's a meme fiend like Hashim is, please add us. It, it makes it adds flavor problem. to the conversation. It's not a problem. It adds it, com- it adds flavor to the conversation. It does, but, but you look like a you start acting like a cartoon character. Like you're not a bitmoji. Okay, you nah, you, but it, it, you can it text adds, with the keyboard and not just <laughs> nah, a it, smiley it, face, bro. It hit different, bro. Cause I know y'all be weak <laughs> when I send these these gifts and memes. It's anyway, the timing. It's comedic timing. Yes. Anyway, yeah. Um, for like the basketball group chat, and you guys are talk. Say your uh, my team's getting clapped, like Lakers getting washed in the game. Oh, just for FYI. I, uh, Hashim is a Lakers fan. I'm a Knicks fan. Yeah. Just wanted to put that out there. But go ahead. Yeah. Champions. Oh, I'm champion. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if y'all talking about that, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna answer stuff that's gonna get me heated. Because mm-hmm. y'all gonna. I know there's people in the group chat that are instigators, and they'd be like, "All right, Hashim's hot. I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna make it worse mm-hmm. and throw and throwing extra stuff." I'm like, I'm not there for it. Uh, How you think I be feeling when I get all the jokes about my team, bro? It's different because your team always been cheeks. Wow, that's you're tired. Crazy. You're well, as long no, as you can not remember. Necessarily. No, I said as it long was long a as year you can where remember. we was we was second in the East, and you know we was playing well, and nobody wanted to say anything to me then. He, and the you got bounced first round or second round? It was the second round. Uh, it's always it's always when it's the when it's like the mocking of you or your team is when like people are the most active in the group chats. I noticed that too. Yeah, I mean that's that's just that's just how it is with sports, especially if you're a diehard fan and mm-hmm. you make bets at the beginning of the season like you do. That too. Yeah. Then I'm gonna talk trash, especially in fantasy. We're not promoting gambling, but. Just had to put that out there. I only but. gamble when I know I can win. Leave it at that. I don't Not know true. about that, but I I bet I bet I bet I bet food on basketball games. Yeah, but I you don't, don't play. You like you I like do. candy man. You only show up like once a year. Like nobody sees you. You a groundhog. Games, bro. I win. You a groundhog. But back to the group chat thing. Uh, I do answer a lot. It just depends on, like, I don't, I don't. As much as I do like like uh, conversations and debates, mm-hmm. I don't like getting just roasted by like five people <laughs> at the same time where I can't even defend myself and it's just getting overshot. Nah, mm. I, I I rather not get heated. I rather not show that I'm heated and and just chill. I feel like most people right. are like that, mm-hmm. but most group chats, which are normal and like. Like the roast is fine. Um, I'm active. I'm active in those. Mm-hmm. It's just the basketball one when you send those basketball invites. Like I said, if I don't answer, that means I ain't going. I've noticed too with people, like I've heard several people, especially um, women of our age, be like, oh, I don't really like test messages. Um, I mean, they probably answer group chats too, obviously, but they're more so like, oh, I don't like text messages. I prefer like FaceTime. So, but then it's like, and to segue into like FaceTime, for example, like I feel like certain people in our like age range or whatever, they have this like little thing where like they don't want you to FaceTime them like simu- uh, spontaneously. They want it to be like almost like a FaceTime appointment type situation where you hit them up and let them know ahead of time. Like, what do you think about that? Because I've always been uh-huh. curious about how that works. I think it's, I can't say it's stupid, but it's stupid, but I, I, can, <laughs> see, I, can, I can see their, I can, I can see their perspective, uh, especially like, um, woman. So mm-hmm. if, if you're FaceTiming them and it's like something, somebody they like, they want to, they want to look good. Right. Mm-hmm. So if you caught, catch them off guard, like they had mm-hmm. their like face mask or whatever, mm-hmm. they, they ain't gonna, uh, they ain't gonna um, they want to be presentable basically yeah in their mind even if the guy doesn't care Mm -hmm. they wouldn't be presentable in their mind um but me personally i don't i don't care you facetime me i'm 
if I'm not busy or most of the time I'm going to answer. I say 90% of the time I'm going to answer the FaceTime. I have to understand FaceTime appointments only if in a sense of like, if you're the type of person where if you're not at your most presentable, like you got a face mask on, your hair looks crazy, you know what I'm saying? You're sweating maybe from a workout or whatever. And you rather, like you're gonna basically be on pause the whole time. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. Like we need to talk about FaceTime etiquette too. If you're gonna more so be on pause or you're not really gonna be showing. Yeah, like if you're gonna be doing that shit, then we don't need to be on FaceTime. It could be a phone call or mm-hmm. like a text message, because at that point it defeats the purpose. Like I, like I Facetimed you to see your face. Like I wanted to see your expressions. I don't want to see the paint peeling off your roof. Like that's not why I Facetimed you. You know what I mean? So I get it in that aspect, but for me, it's like I think like. There's a spontaneity to FaceTime calling. I do try to answer them as much as I can. Sometimes they do catch you off guard. So it's just like either you're asleep or like you're not you're away from your phone. But, you know, I still like I think it. I, I love seeing FaceTime. Cause I'm like, I, because like I said, I'm a get to the point type of mm-hmm. texter. So FaceTime, it's so much quicker. You could be like, hey. I re- I rather have that hey how you doing conversation mm-hmm. over FaceTime rather than text. So you rather, rather have, have a small a talk. conversation. You yeah, I, have I do small talk FaceTime. over over FaceTime on or phone calls over text because the text. Well, FaceTime you could be more detailed too because do text like sometimes people are. I don't like the term bad texters. I feel like people are more so lazy texters. That's what they really mean. Like you don't respond quickly you're the type to take hours to respond so a facetime call might be better in having a fluid conversation with someone especially with someone that you have like a romantic interest in mm-hmm. compared to like waiting on a text message or you know what i mean i'd rather do facetime calls and phone calls for sure though you know what i'm saying yeah i i would too like like you said sometimes it does catch you off guard mm-hmm. but I ain't never been caught so off guard that I'm not showing my face. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I think it's more so we're also guys. So naturally, our... We look better. Pers- right. <laughs> that part. No, nah, but for the, like, our perspective on, like, what's presentable compared to a woman that we might have interest in or just might be cool with is completely different. You know what I mean? Like, she got mm-hmm. pearls in her hair. And she could be like, no, I'm not showing my hair because I have curls on or I have a bonnet on or I have a face mask on where we like I have a comb in my head right here for like this episode, like this type of thing, because it's like, you know, what I'm saying I'm comfortable presenting myself in this fashion. So it's it's more it might be a little more layers of I don't want to say insecurity, but just like more self-conscious of how you looking especially if it's someone that you are start still trying to get to know better yeah uh, and it depends on your personality too like some yeah. people just don't care um, yeah if you're more introverted you're gonna be like mm, do i really want to show myself like that on facetime like spontaneously uh, i i don't know i'm i i consider myself introverted right and no you're not you're lying but go ahead that could be another top topic uh you will we'll write that down Yes. Um, but I, I'm going to continue with that statement. Mm-hmm. And, um, like, like I said, before we started my hair looking crazy right now. <laughs> um, so I, I just threw on a hat and mm-hmm. I'm fine. Um, uh, I feel like this, take like, your hat off. no, you're bugging. <laughs> nah, not today. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Having a bad hair day, huh? Yeah, it's, it's just cause I picked it out. Mm. I picked it out and then. After I put the hat on, it's it's just it's just a wrap for the day. It's a wrap. I feel yeah. Unless until I fix it up. But uh you definitely made me forget what I was doing. Um, but it depends on pers- personality. Like if mm-hmm. you like super outgoing and you don't or it depends on who's calling. So if it's like one of your best friends, it, this could be female or um male, it's one of their best friends, they're not gonna care 
how they look when they pick Facts. up. Facts. Like they they could be like they could be waking up in bed and be like, "Hey, what's up?" But if it was somebody else, then I guess their stand not not their face FaceTime standards mm-hmm. um are up. They're like, I, "I ain't picking this up. Let me get up, put myself together." Or, like for example. Uh, I'll give you an example too. Like but my younger we got, cousin. We got four minutes left, sorry. Got you. Real quick. Like my younger cousin, um, shout out to Cece. She likes to FaceTime me like regularly. You know, sometimes I'm most of the time I try to answer. And like she like doesn't really she's not really like a girly girl. Like she doesn't glam herself or anything like that. So like mm-hmm. and plus I think, you know, us being close and you know, being like having a close relationship as cousins, she doesn't really like, is really self-conscious. Like she'll be in a car, she'll be like doing whatever. And like, she won't be affected by like me seeing her face, especially cause she's calling me too. I think when you're caught off guard with like someone FaceTiming you randomly, or if you wasn't, you're not really in that phase where you guys are like seeing each other face to face like that in an intimate, setting or like late at night or something then i could see where it could be like kind of off-putting but i feel like people just need to be more you know open-minded to it you know be more open-minded to it not have these standards on oh if someone should facetime me or not i mean i get consideration it it could also be like (laughs) you don't want that person to know where you are like they like what, what you doing and I'm like, I, no, to, I'm trying, trying to slide on the low. Nah, I'm talking about like, <laughs> like say you're you're at like I don't know you you're out at night and you get a mm-hmm. FaceTime. It's like I right, I'm just gonna hit them up and see what they want. Mm-hmm. And if it's something important, then I'll call them back. But if it ain't, then you living know, my best life. They no, they get a call tomorrow <laughs> or a text and be like, yo, uh. What you want? I'll be like, yo, what's up? Like, nah, I, you I gonna say that, what you want? That. Don't don't shoot. No, no, no. I did. I did that with you. You called me at like eleven. Some I forgot. Sometime in the summer, I think I was playing yeah. game. And I was yeah. like, I ain't gonna be able to give you no attention. I ain't gonna. <laughs> so I was like, I right. I, I didn't that. I didn't answer the call, and I told mm-hmm. you that the next day I was like, all right, what's good? And then it's I don't I don't feel like not, um. Not answering call is bad. Same thing with leaving messages on red. Me personally, I don't think that's bad. That's showing you that you actually read the message. That could be part of another episode because I have I have a whole I have a whole rant on that honestly. But mm. that we'll quick question: that. What's up? Do you have your read receipts on? I don't believe so. No, that's cowardly, bro. I could I put them on though, but. Yeah, put them on. I mean, all right, I'll put them on. There's no problem. Come on, all yeah. Right. Yeah. But I'm I have a whole rant on that. So I'll save that for another time. All right. So um our time is basically up. Uh next episode. Well, we, we got a lot of topics to talk about in this episode, but um next episode would be about I actually forgot. Um it's gonna be about what was it? It was um Oh, the differences between friends and acquaintances. Homies and acquaintances, yes. Yeah, homies and and, don't, and by, by the way, we will be making a social media platform, um, the HBC, the whole word U podcast. We're going to make a social media platform on Instagram. So we're going to put polls up on who you agree with more throughout the episodes between myself and Hashim. So once we have that up, uh, you can follow us there. And we'll also, um, you know, like we said, we'll do polls and different things like that, just to engage with the audience. So, but thank you guys for, you know, watching and listening to our first, you know, pilot yeah. podcast. Uh, Hashim, how you feeling, look out, bro? Look out for more. Um, I'm feeling good. I wish I had more time.